Hello, my name is Yochai Chakak and I'm a lecturer at the Division of Social Work at Brunel University, the UK. The title of the article that I'm going to talk about is Battling Against Interfaith Relationships in Israel, um, Religion, Therapy and Social Services. Uh, the main argument in this article is that um, in Israel, the many um, people who oppose uh, interfaith relationships. The problem that these people have is that um, they want to maintain both the democratic character of Israel, but at the same time, its Jewish character. And there is a big problem in trying to bridge these two values together, because if you want to maintain uh, the democratic character of the state, you can't um, prevent such relationships uh, through the legal or through the educational system. Um, and I'm trying to explore in the article some of the attempts, some of the debates, um, um, and the difficulties. Um, the article is based on the analysis of uh, discussions in a series of uh, parliamentary committee meetings within the Israeli Knesset and additional documents from different uh, governmental agencies. Um, so, whereas dealing with these relationships through the legal or the educational system is impossible, what the option that is left is through uh, therapy. And basically what it means is that it allows all those who object at relationships to say, well, we are not against interfaith relationships, but in these specific cases, um, we have a problem because um, especially these women, talking about Jewish women, are um, lacking the ability to uh, make the right judgment about these relationships. Therefore, uh, social services usually should intervene. And I'm exploring um, these uh, arguments and I'm giving a few uh, examples of uh, intervention programs. Uh, one of the interesting things is that you, I could find the fact that uh, the minute that a girl from a low uh, socioeconomic background associate with uh, Arab men, um, she is considered to be at risk, and this would justify intervention. Um, I think that one of the key dilemmas for me, and one of the fascinating things that I was trying to uh, address in the article, is how to explain the fact that um, these perceptions um, are shared by uh, ultra-Orthodox Jews in the same way that, uh, or almost, almost in the same way that uh, I could find uh, um, shared by social workers who are totally secular and uh, left-wing and liberal in every other respect. Um, so this is something that I'm trying to answer and uh, explain in the article, um, but I'll leave it here, I'll leave it at that. Thank you.